we're visiting with Sherry Torkas, who is a pharmacist and the author of The GI Made Simple. Sherry, you hear the term glycemic load. Exactly what does that mean? Well, the glycemic load was actually developed as an offshoot to the glycemic index. When we talk about the glycemic index, researchers test a certain amount of carbohydrate present in a food. For example, if they're testing carrots, mm -hmm. they, they get a serving of carrots that would provide 50 grams of carbohydrate and they measure its impact on blood sugar. Now when we're looking at the glycemic load, we're actually looking at a typical serving of a food. For example, if you were to eat carrots, you might have one or two. You're not going to sit down and eat a bag of eight or ten carrots. <laughs> and so the, the glycemic load gives us a practical information on how a typical serving will impact your blood sugar. Okay. Uh, so for example, there are certain foods that I list in my book, and I have a glycemic index chart in my book. Yes, you do. Foods that are low, moderate, and high. Now some of the high glycemic foods, such as watermelon, mango, and papaya, are still recommended to have as part of a healthy diet. And the reason for that is these foods, although they are higher in the glycemic index, they contain a relatively small amount of carbohydrate per typical serving so that their overall impact mm -hmm. on your blood sugar is not that dramatic. So watermelon, mango, cantaloupe, papaya, all of these fruits that are a little bit higher in sugar and higher in the glycemic index, mm -hmm. they're still okay to have as part of a healthy diet because they have, in, in a typical serving, their impact is not that significant on blood sugar, plus they're also a good source of vitamins and minerals and mm -hmm. different nutrients that are um, important for good health. What about juicing those fruits? That changes the picture, doesn't it? Yes, it does, and in fact, if you look at an orange versus mm -hmm. a glass of orange juice, the orange contains a lot of fiber, and therefore it will have a lower glycemic index. If you turn that orange into a glass of orange juice, it will break down into sugar more quickly in your system because the fiber has been broken down. Mm -hmm. So you are better to have fruits in their whole form versus the juices. Um, but you know, overall, with respect to juicing, I do believe in the value of having vegetable and fruit juices, mm -hmm. certainly over having um, soda mm -hmm. and coffee and, uh, and other beverages. So juices are still a healthy option for the diet. Oh, well, thank you very much. Thank you.